I wish to find a lost city. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 creepiest mysteries of real life expeditions. Mr. Uemura is a not just climber, he is a hero in Japan. This grainy film records the last time Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan are ever seen alive. For 300 years, the ice defeated every challenger. For this list, we're looking at various failed expeditions in which the manner of the disaster or the whereabouts of the parties involved remain unsolved. Can you think of any more failed expeditions? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. The Corche Hills. The Corche Hill family of explorers consisted of brothers Gaspar and Miguel and their father Juan Vaz. Their voyages were sponsored by the Portuguese crown, and it's believed that they reached various parts of eastern Canada, including the province of Newfoundland. In 1501, Gaspar endeavored on an expedition that landed in what is presumed to be Labrador. While there, his expedition captured dozens of indigenous citizens and brought them back to Portugal. However, the ship containing Gaspar was lost on the return voyage and was never recovered. Miguel set out to find his brother, but one of the three ships, the same one Miguel was on, failed to show up at a planned rendezvous. Both Corche Hill brothers were lost at sea, in the same area, and under similar circumstances. Number 9. The Vivaldi Expedition Like the previous entry, this one concerns two brothers, Vandino and Ugolino Vivaldi, two 13th century Genoese explorers. Their expedition left Genoa in May of 1291, in search of an ocean route from Europe to India. The expedition reportedly sailed down the Moroccan coast and made its way to modern-day Cape Nun. However, this was the last known sighting of the brothers, and they disappeared shortly after. Years later, Ugolino's son Sorleone searched for his father and uncle to no avail. Another sailor, Antonietto Uzo di Mari, claimed to have met the descendants of the survivors of the Vivaldi expedition. The descendants maintained that one ship was stranded while the other was captured. Number 8. Naomi Wemura when you think of failed expeditions, you typically think of old-timey stories involving wooden ships, but not so with Naomi Uemura. Mr. Uemura is a, not just a climber, he is a hero in Japan. This Japanese adventurer was famous for doing strenuous activities completely solo, like reaching the North Pole and rafting the entire length of the Amazon River. In Japan, he is known as the animal for the toughness he has displayed on his many adventures. In February of 1984, Wemura was attempting to climb Denali, the highest mountain in North America. He reported making it to the top, but failed to reach base camp in the following days. Rescue efforts were further delayed, as they feared offending the solo adventurer. Much of his gear was eventually recovered around 17,000 feet, but there was no sign of Wemura. Hope reluctantly gave way to doubt. Eleven days after Naomi Yomura made history, the search ended. The leading theory is that he fell, injured himself, and was subsequently buried by the heavy snow. Number 7. James Knight The Northwest Passage has claimed many lives, perhaps most famously those of the ill-fated Franklin Expedition. They were 25 miles off the coast, uh, out of sight of land, actually. And there was nothing around them but, uh, but pack ice, just a wilderness of white, empty pack ice. It also claimed the life of James Knight, the director of the Hudson's Bay Company. Knight set out with the Albany and the Discovery ships in 1719 to locate the Northwest Passage, but they were never seen again. For 300 years, the ice defeated every challenger. Research indicates that they likely grounded in shallow water and made their way to Marble Island in modern-day Nunavut, where they interacted with the local Inuit. A small encampment was later found on Marble Island with items belonging to the Albany and Discovery. As for the men, it was reported and remains likely that they died from natural causes, including sickness and famine. Number 6. George Bass and the Venus Bass was a British man who served as both a ship's surgeon and explorer, famed for his expeditions to Australia. Fun fact, he was one of the first people to describe the wombat. On February 5, 1803, Bass and his ship Venus set out from Australia and were never seen again. In 1806, three years after Venus's departure, Bass was officially declared lost at sea. It's unclear what happened to the ship, although many fanciful explanations have been put forth, like the crew being captured by the Spanish and sent to work in their silver mines. It makes for a good story, but it's an unproven one nonetheless. It's likely that they sank at sea, but this too remains unconfirmed. Number 5. Ludwig Leichhardt Another famous explorer of Australia was Germany's Ludwig Leichhardt. Leichhardt primarily explored North and Central Australia. 
with his first expedition reaching as far south as Brisbane. In 1848, Lightheart began his journey from the Condamine River in the hopes of getting to Swan River. The expedition was last seen in the Darling Downs on April 3, 1848. Despite numerous search parties, very little evidence of Leichhardt's expedition was found, aside from some tree engravings, a small brass plate, and some artifacts found with native aborigines, although their link to Leichhardt remains mere speculation. It's believed that the exhibition either perished from natural causes in the Great Sandy Desert or were taken by locals. Number 4. The La Perouse Expedition Lieutenant La Perouse was a French naval officer who was personally appointed by Louis XVI to lead a scientific expedition around the world in the late 18th century. Their objectives were numerous, like completing unfinished maps, establishing trade allies, and discovering new ocean routes. Setting sail in 1785, the expedition disappeared in 1788 following a stop in Australia, and it's said that Louis XVI asked about the status of La Perouse on the morning of his execution. It would be centuries until small answers were given. After taking off, the ships had reportedly wrecked on the coral reefs of Vanikoro, and it's said that a large majority of the survivors were slaughtered by the locals. The survivors of the massacre sailed west, but what happened to them remains a mystery. Number 3. Percy Fawcett I wish to find a lost city. Readers of The Lost City of Zed or fans of the Amazon movie will certainly know the exciting story of Percy Fawcett. Fawcett was a British archaeologist who vehemently believed in the existence of Zed, a supposed lost city located in the jungles of Brazil. In 1925, Fawcett, his son, and his son's friend set out to find Zed. What did you hope to achieve out here? I don't know. Their last known communication was on May 29th, when Fawcett sent a letter to his wife. Countless theories have been put forth regarding the expedition's fate, with some claiming that they died of natural causes in the forest, while others claim their lives were ended by an unwelcoming local tribe. Amigos! 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 We'd like to believe that they found some lost mythical city and ended up staying there, but the truth is likely far more tragic. Number 2. Amelia Earhart This grainy film records the last time Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan are ever seen alive. The story of Amelia Earhart is perhaps the most famous aviation-based tale in modern history, and it seems like every year we get some answer regarding her ultimate fate. While she's now known as the pilot who disappeared, she was enormously popular in the early 20th century for her numerous aviation accomplishments. The magnificent thing about Amelia is that in the eyes of the world, she never died. Her fear never witnessed, her failure never recorded. In 1937, both Earhart and navigator Fred Noonan attempted to circumnavigate the globe in a Lockheed Model 10E Electra, but disappeared somewhere around Hawaii. Not a trace of wreckage was found floating. There was no mayday call, there was no distress call. For 70 years, investigators have been trying to solve the Earhart enigma. Literally countless theories have been put forth regarding their ultimate fate, like living castaway style on Gardner Island and getting captured by the Japanese. Wilson! Unfortunately, the truth is likely far more mundane. They ran out of fuel and crashed into the Pacific. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Richard Halliburton. He disappeared attempting to sail the Sea Dragon across the Pacific. Daniel Houghton. He likely starved in the Sahara and his body was picked clean by scavengers. Abu Bakr II, also known as Abu Bakri. The ninth Mansa of the Mali Empire abdicated his throne in favor of ocean exploration. Peng Jiamu, Chinese explorer who likely dehydrated in the Lopnor Desert. George Mallory, famous climber disappeared on Everest for 75 years until his body was found in 1999. And I looked over to my right and all of a sudden I saw a patch of white that wasn't rock and it wasn't snow. And all of a sudden I thought, hmm, I'm going to go look over here. And as I started traversing closer to this, I saw what appeared to be the lower part of a leg. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Dyatlov Pass Incident 
Much has been made of the Dyatlov Pass incident, and it dwarfs the Earhart disappearance in terms of outlandish conspiracy theories. The basic story is that nine Russian hikers passed away in the slopes of the Khalatsyakal in the late 1950s, leaving behind some mysterious evidence. This is the last photo taken by the hikers before they died. It's out of focus, but it seems to show mysterious lights in the sky. They had reportedly fled from their tent in a panic, and their bodies showed signs of trauma. It's undoubtedly quite a story, but much like Earhart, the truth surrounding their fates is likely mundane. The evidence here is both extensive yet maddeningly incomplete. And until we fill in the gaps, the case cannot be fully closed. That is, an avalanche forced them to flee the tent quickly, they grew disoriented in the dark, and died of exhaustion and hypothermia. As for the missing organs, that was nothing but hungry animals happening upon the bodies. Or it could be aliens. Extraterrestrial life. You're right, Jerry. The people are gonna love it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.